we'll talk about dynamic inputs. Oh. <laughs> Okay, we'll recap. Uh, we have <laughs> import as a, uh, uh, there's an import statement thing with parentheses at the end that lets you async import of, uh, a module. Does that, does that make yeah. sense? Have I got that right? Yes, you have modules. And you can now not only just declare statically what you import, but use a somewhat like a function call to put it in the middle of your code and be like, if this and for that loop Import these things. Now, I, I noticed a little bit in uh, Matthias's article about this, where he has a note saying, by the way, import is not a function. Da, and I, da, da. I, right. I, and I was looking at this, and it was like, I-M-P-O-R-T, open parenthesis, URL, oh, well, module descriptor, close parenthesis. That's a function, mate. You, you got it mate. wrong. It's a function. Oh, is that a semicolon at the end? Yes, of course. Well, or a dot then. Or a, no we are civilized yeah. people here. Yes, I, I am a fan of the, the semicolon. That's something I would so agree right. with. Um, but yeah, not a function. What, what, what is it then? Like, because it is, a, yeah, like you said, it looks like one. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's like a keyword syntaxy thing. Oh. I'm sure it's one of one of those. One of those is right, and one of those <laughs> is wrong. <laughs> Once again. We had something like this before. There's another thing in. JavaScript that looks like a function, but it's not a function. Yes, super. Yes, super. Is, super. 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 That is, and and it's and they're they're both not real functions for the same reason. And it's because what is that reason, Jake? Right. Well, when you call import, you're giving it a uh, a module descriptor, which is either well, right now it has to be a relative URL mm -hmm. um, in a particular format, uh, like okay. dot slash or whatever. Sounds doable for a function. What is that relative to? Your face? <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. <laughs> it's actually uh, it's relative to the script you're in. OK. I mean, that makes sense. It's how script tags work as well, right? Uh, no. No. I if you use URLs in normal scripts, the, the URLs relative to the page, to the client. Interesting. Which would be like okay. a worker or, or something. OK. So, so you end up with this, this bit of relativeness which is specific to the script. Relativity? A bit of relativity would be the correct English word to use. Thank you, foreign person, <laughs> <laughs> for telling me how to speak. Um, so yeah, it, 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 it's relative to the script file itself. OK. So that's a property that is makes isn't... a lot of sense. It, well, it's CSS behaves the same way, right? If you have relative import, like URL fav, fav icons or something yes. like that, they're relative to the CSS file that, that is being used in. Right. Yes, exactly. Yeah, it, it's very similar to that. Um, but in JavaScript, we have this concept of a realm, but all they have Love multiple that word, and, and and that's sort of kind of tied to the the, the global, like what yeah. uh, the uh, and like so your page, like your JavaScript environment that you execute in, and yes. you can load things in, and you know the files come from all the different paths, but eventually end up in this one thing, the realm, the one realm. So this relative URL thing is not a property of the realm. It's how it's, could it be if you? importing modules from all over the place. Exactly. And this is why it doesn't make sense, because that, that call to import, mm -hmm. like the, the, the question would be, is like, well, what if you assigned that import to another name and passed that to another script? Like, it, you've passed a function Ooh. around, but now yeah. it operates differently. And the same goes with super. Like, when you call super, you're referring to like that class. Yeah, the uh, basic class. So they kind of had this decision as either it needs to be part of the language, or they do something very weird with analyzing stack traces to see which kind of script oh, yeah, is coming from. Good. And that is why it's not a function. So you can't assign it to something else. It's not type of function. Mm -hmm. it, you can't do dot .call. You can't assign it to something else. Uh, yeah. Uh, slate 3, take 1. I think you'll find it says C on Slate. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sassy Serma's on. <laughs>